Oh, cherry log. How big is that? Inside bark, inside bark, it's maybe 10 inches by probably 12 foot long. That's what the other ones were. Twelve foot four. So ten inch cherry log, twelve foot four, real small, a bad crook in the other end. And we're gonna cut it up for um, seventy six inch board foot. And we're gonna time it and see how long it takes us to do board foot. Instead of by the hour. So we got a timer going. Oops, we haven't got it started yet. Stopwatch. 38 minutes, that's how much it took me for the last log. 38 minutes, that's how much it took me for the last log. The first log um, we already recorded. We got $111 on the first log. And $44 on the second log that we didn't record. Took me 44 minutes for $44. Or 40 minutes for $44. Not bad. But not $100 an hour either. So we'll see how long this one takes us. These are the ones that... These right here, these cherry logs, small, small logs are the ones that eat you up when you're milling by the board foot. So this is... But milling by the board. The advantage is that I get to come in here and I get to be home, be at home. I get to do this on my time and I don't have to punch a clock other than when I'm YouTube and then I have to punch this clock <laughs> just to see how long it takes. But normally I don't punch a clock. Normally I don't care how long it takes. I just, um, I've, I've done it before. I've, not, I've timed myself before and, and uh, I make enough money to to break even instead of charging 95 100 bucks an hour i can just charge by the board foot i take it my own time We've, this is the third log i've done for this guy and i got one more big walnut it's probably 12 foot walnut to do not big but it's 10 or 12 inches too and then i have uh, one more small cherry and that one really eats you up as far as your board, by the board foot rate but Let's get going, see what we do here. And Gavin's gonna be assisting, but not mic'd up until he can be quiet and not scream on the video. All right, so we're gonna start. Yeah. And Gavin's gonna be assisting, but not mic'd up until he can be quiet and not scream on the video. All right, so we're gonna start. Yeah. See how far we get. I'm going to try and cut off the hump off that other end first. But cutting that other hump off the other end sure puts this end down, doesn't it? It sure puts this end up. I'm just gonna cut off that hump at the other end. Log don't doesn't look too bad from there. But we're gonna cut off that hump. All right, stand back, bud. Stand back.
see where we're at with this log. Put the hump out of the bed on now, probably. Five inches off, six inches off down there. We can raise up this. I can, I can handle raising this end up just a little bit. We can that. Yeah, so it's still time consuming, and these little logs, you don't get any good uh, board foot out of them. You don't make. It so it's still time consuming, and these little logs, you don't get any good uh, board foot out of them. You don't make any good money. Small crooked cherry logs. Imagine that. Still gonna have to raise up this wind. Oh, even more now. Still gonna have to raise up this wind. Probably even more now. I'm gonna guess. If I had to guess, there we're at seven. Then we're at seven and a half. So uh, pretty good guess. But I still gotta walk. And I'm not gonna walk it again. Diesel drip looks like she's dripping pretty good, doesn't it? Getting a little bit much. Oops, no way. He's definitely got some stress. All these little cherries. All these little cherries got stress. At least all the ones I get. make two cuts on this so I have one just uh, thin cut and then I'll have one 
double live egg. Probably enough to give me a straight line. That's what side number three. So I may have to flip this one more time. Five times instead of four. So it gets me two dogs. It gets me two uh, clamps. Nope, I'll probably just wall right out of my hand. And again, I'll take a nice thin. Nope, I might not take a nice thin cut. Yeah, I might. And again, I'll take a nice thin, nope, I might not take a nice thin cut. Yeah, I might. So here's a perfect example. I had to stop the timer. Oh, let me start the timer again. I had to stop the timer. 15 minutes, 20 to 30 seconds. Go. It's going now. All right, so there's a perfect example of why I like melon at home. Oh, I probably need to take the weight off that one. Yep, we'll probably make that take the weight off that one. And that one too. So there's a perfect example anyway of why I like to mill at home, and I might take the plane off that one too. I'm, uh, I just went to a low dose. I just went to a low dose. Slap. Somebody stopped and bought some firewood. So I just talked to them for a while. But they stopped and got some campfire wood. See how it goes. I think I'll just take a leveling cut right off here and then take it on down. But that means I have to uh, weigh it or uh, edge it. All right, so perfect example of why I uh, like no. Paper thin in the middle, but I got it all at least. 
That's all stress in that cherry log, stress. That's not, uh, that's not because the mill's not level or anything else. Mill's not level or anything else. That's just stress. Yep, you're coming up. Damn it. Not much I can do there. See that log's bowing? Damn it. It'll be good in the middle. Man, that cherry smells good. Okay. You see how that middle one's skinny? That's uh, total stress. You're, uh, I see it daily on, on uh, Facebook. People think that they're, all of a sudden their mill's on level. That's not because the mill's not level. That's stress in that log. She came up or went down. Whatever she did went down the center of that board is uh one inch or the center of this board is one inch the end of this board is shoo i can get three quarters out of it but the center of that board is an inch that's all i can do this one's a little fat and that's okay too oh now the hard part or not the hard part, it's not hard, it just sucks. The sucky part. I gotta trim that one both sides. I gotta trim this one one side. And I gotta trim this one. Uh, both sides wouldn't hurt, but definitely one side. I'll probably take both. He wants Wayne. Wayne free. And he's already got enough of them that aren't Wayne free. So this is the time consuming. This is where you get eight up, charging by the board foot, edging all these boards. You just get time consuming and eight up. You got an edger, that would be a different story. Let's see how these are bowing. But that's okay, we've cut it to uh, where the stress is the correct way in these logs, for sure. A little fast. We're gonna hope that that's enough. That's enough. Not really. I'd like to get all that weight out. So this is where you get ate up by the board foot charge, trying to 
clean these boards up when you make a mistake like that. We got, uh, oh, let me do the trick you put my thumb over. Oh, you can't even see it anyway. Let me go out here in the sun. Now you can see it, right? A 1x7, three 1x8s, one 1x6, two of them, and a 1x4, that one with live edge on both sides. So not much money, right? 35 bucks in 30 minutes. So you're down to 60 bucks an hour, just over 60 bucks an hour. Um, and that's the way those small logs will eat you up on milling by the board. He did have the one big log that I made $111 off of. So that'll help the figures, but we're down to, like I said, we're down to uh, 60 bucks an hour. Just over 60 bucks an hour for this. Not good. <coughs> but he's getting a deal and and I'm making money and I get to stay home and feed my dog and sell firewood and burn my burn pad and eat lunch for as long as I want and go sit down if I want to. So there's the third cherry log. And we've milled them all at home. We're not on the road. We're not out in the sun. I'm sitting here in the shade in the sawmill shed, which is really nice. And the weather conditions, um, you know, if you're milling in the uh, sun, you're milling in the rain, you're milling in the wind, that, that, that takes all that out of the equation. Your uh, takes your flat tires out of the equation, takes your drive time and your camping and your everything like that out of the equation puts it puts it all on me if I uh, I don't when I mill this uh, there's no I mean I tell the guy you know approximately when I'm gonna be milling his wood but I don't there's no set end date you know I don't uh, at two o'clock on Thursday afternoon I'll have this all milled up for you I don't say that um, you know I say I'm, I'm gonna start try to start milling you know on Tuesday and hopefully I'll be done by whenever Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday but I can call him Wednesday and say hey um I had a setback so I'm not I didn't get to mail yesterday and so it's going to be another couple of days or whatever you know the case may be sometimes it's uh sometimes it's hey your trailer's full come get it you know I can't get any more on your wood on your trailer um and then I can go on to a different project till he brings his trailer back um but it's all on my time. There's no, there's no, you have to do it on this time and you have to do it on that time. And I enjoy that. I, if I don't enjoy milling, you know, and then I'm not, not going to do it. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy mobile milling. I have fun working by the hour and all that. And I know a lot of people do work by the hour. And if you want to go out there and punch a time clock by the hour, that's, that's your business. Um, that's not why I want to be in this. That's not why I want to, do this um, sawmill. I don't want to do it because, and I don't want to do it like this either, filming for YouTube, because I tried to, I didn't hurry through it, but I didn't look at, you know, the logs. I didn't look at the grain in this log. You know, I didn't look at the knots. I didn't look at the rotten spots um, any more than I had to. I didn't, I mean, I, there was a knot in that one and I turned it so I could um, cut it out of the most of the lumber. But, so I looked at it to get the best quality for the customer but I don't look at it for my pleasure I enjoy looking at the grain of that wood and the knots and the cherry pockets and or the sap pockets and the cherry and and um, that's where I that's why I'm milling that's why I like milling because I enjoy it and punching a time clock is not enjoyable to me and hurrying my ass up and seeing <coughs> seeing if I can mill um, a thousand board feet in a minute or an hour or two hours or in a day or whatever you know that's not that's not why I have a mill um, this is this is my time and and I enjoy it and if I don't enjoy it then I have no money from the customer would make me cut it up I wouldn't cut it up for a hundred dollars a board foot if I didn't enjoy it although a hundred dollars a board foot would make me enjoy it more but you understand what I'm saying Ed? there's no I, I'm not against anybody charging by the hour you know, I'm saying that there is other ways you can do it. And charging by the board foot works for me really well. Um, works for the customer really well. He can drop off a log and go away, you know, and come back, hook up to his trailer and drive off on his time and I can do it on my time. And that's what I like. So next up is that walnut.
probably looks like a 12 inch walnut 12 foot long and like subscribe hit the notification and you'll get a notification when and if i record that one which should be here in a couple minutes hopefully a couple minutes for me could be it's going to be definitely a couple days for you